artists out there um, that wanted to be where you are now at the Florence Academy of Art, what would you tell them? I'd tell them definitely uh, to be persistent in your practice and your study, uh, especially in your study of uh, the masters and, uh, and art history. I would tell them not to jump too far beyond their uh, skill level for where they're at. So you need a great foundation before you can make great work. So if you're just starting art, you don't want to jump into doing crazy masterpieces. You want to start with drawings, pencil drawings, charcoal drawings, um, copies of masterworks. Uh, you can start with uh, Charles Barg's uh, drawing course where he did uh, drawings of casts. Uh, he actually did lithographs and they've been made into books. So you can copy those. Um, but to really start from the basics and then to try to meet people who you admire and painters who you admire and, uh, and teachers who you can look up to and uh, really follow their direction. There was a quote that I was reading in a book that, uh, that said that for an artist to be successful, he needs to have the ego to persist beyond all odds and the humility to learn his craft. And I think those are two very important things because some artists are so proud that uh, teachers who've been doing art for much longer than they have, um, they'll reject their critiques and things, critiques get a little brutal and a little too harsh. And in those instances, you have to be prudent enough to recognize that uh, even if people are saying that you don't have the skills necessary, uh, that, that you need to be persistent enough to sort of follow your path anyways. Yeah. So those are some tips that I would give. Yeah. That's a lot of life lessons right there. Lots of life lessons. Yeah. That could range more than just art. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Play. Yeah. Probably, probably it goes for, uh, for anyone who's got a dream that, uh, that's going to take work, which, you know, if you're really passionate about something, a lot of those things are going to take a lot of work and persistence. And so, uh, so that's, that's the thing about the Michael po Scott podcast is it, it doesn't just relate to one thing. It's a very versatile podcast. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and you can learn a lot from it. And 